Hey everyone, in this video will teach you how to Gleekan Deviate in less than two minutes. It's perfect for when you borrow someone's deck and have no idea what you're doing, or if you just don't have time to look at all the cards. This video can be viewed without my voice, so if you're looking at this video and just need to figure out what to do, you can just put down the volume to zero and just read all the text that is on the screen, so your friends don't know what you're doing. Let's start off with some decks. So these are some of the example decks that you see. Slight differences. This is Man Long's deck that everyone is playing right now. The next one here is one with a heavier Bad Saga Ride line, but also running Brachio Force, which is what you might see. And then the last deck is just running a pure build with mini flare dragons all of them are perfect to build and play here are the three goals you want to achieve with the deck so firstly you want to bind five cards on the turn you ride grade three to gain critical for gandiva secondly you want to continue buying more cards after that to scale better and then thirdly you want to use alpha cards effect under persona ride or a large amount of bind to create multi attacks that put a lot of pressure on the opponents one thing we should do with this deck is to assign bind values these bind values will tell you how many cards it binds and helps with things like mulligan right so as you can see stogana is the only card that will bind two all the time while gandiva does bind one to four it usually only binds one or two and the rest of the cards will usually only bind one though some don't need cb like bosun and bernaya for the mulligan you are aiming for at least three bind value because then with the gandiva that will give one or two more and then you'll have like five which is what you want to hit that critical with gandiva things like bosun and stagana are your best choices because they don't even require cb however you do want a good combination of soul blast and counter blast cards because at max you'll probably get around like two counter blast usually and then for your soul you usually have like two to three depending on your ride line so you don't want to just stack up too many soul eating cards or CB cards because you won't be able to use them. After that, you just search for one best harvest, which is what I like, or just having a cycler in hand, it just lets you get more cards, which is pretty good. Your attack pattern is very simple. Attack with your alpha cards first, then attack with Gandiva to trigger the alpha cards, and then attack with the other regards. One pro tip is that the best position for Borussen is behind alpha car as they will bind themselves when your Vanguard attacks, and then your Vanguard also rarely needs a boost. Sometimes you don't get the ideal hand, especially in your first grade three turn. In this scenario, you can see that you don't have five cards in the bind zone, so you might want to attack the regards first for a chance to hit that five bind so your Gandiva has critical pressure, especially if you're running things like Brachio Force that will make more binds. Also, just so you know, if you attack a regard and it dies, it also triggers your Benaya skill and also binds a card because it gets it retired. Now, with that, go and win.